The skirting work was below standard. The surface was left too rough. Additionally, the heavy rains that followed washed away much of the concrete, leaving this unappealing and unusable rough surface with some concrete stones exposed. Although we had to go, in hindsight, leaving the contractor to work unsupervised was a wrong call. We are back to square one. We will need to revisit this sub-project soon. Unfortunately, we can't tick this box. The backfilling of the retaining wall shall be done during the impending landscaping. Later this afternoon, we are expecting a landscaper to come on an assessment visit. Tomorrow, we are expecting the solar installation technicians to also come. This afternoon, we decided to start working on a mini project for the kitchen island lights. We have an idea to use some wood to make a rustic feature on the ceiling through which the kitchen chandeliers will drop. For now, we need to do some measurements. Tomorrow we shall do the woodwork. The landscaper has arrived, as expected. The task is to go around the immediate yard, around the house targeted for landscaping, assessing what needs to be done and how best to do it. After tighter ground preparation, after ground preparation, his time is short. We must finish this job in the next few hours to allow his return to the city tomorrow morning. The strategy is to sectionalize the yard and calculate the area for each section. This will help us determine exactly how much lawn inputs are required, including labor. The landscaping will be in two main stages, land preparation followed by lawn planting. It's D-Day, the solar installation technicians are here. First, all the materials are laid out on the floor to make sure we have everything we need. 
Once out here, missing any critical items is a serious inconvenience. We did our best to make sure we bought all the required accessories before we left the city. Working as a team, whilst one is doing the solar system wiring, the other is working around the house, fitting the lamp holders and sockets and switches in all the rooms. As electrical work continues, we turn to the woodwork project we started yesterday. We need a suitable piece of wood that will hopefully produce what we have in mind. Either this could be under, or we could then cut it in. It looks rusty. This will be to the. So what kind of tool would you use for such a Some good progress inside the house. Most of the fittings around the house are now in place. The inverter and its accessories are now mounted to the wall. When the house was designed, we designated this section to be where the solar system controls would be fitted. So far, all is going according to plan. At the moment, the portable water is coming into the house through gravity. As the water tank drops, the little pressure we have in the house also starts to fall. The solution we discovered is to keep the water tank full. We will need to do this from time to time until the booster pump is in place.
still like quite full. Okay, for the first line, I think it's somewhere here. I think it looks like it's somewhere here. Okay, so we can just top up a little bit. Much progress has been made today. The installation is now turning to the roof. Inside the house, solar wiring is almost complete. These rails are used to secure the solar panels on the roof and must be cut to size. The rails must be firmly secured on the roof without leaving the roof leaking, which can easily happen if no extra care is taken during solar panel installation. Within an hour of filling up, the tank is now running over. It is time to remove the inlet pipe, which is bringing the water directly from the mountain spring, nearly two kilometers away. The roof is scorching hot and no longer safe to continue working. The mission is abandoned for the day. We must try again early in the morning. So I'm looking for blackjack leaves also known as mutsine um, it's a very nutritional highly nutritional vegetable actually <laughs> uh, i know some people think it's just a weed but it's very nutritional super high in iron um, so i actually i enjoy it 
um, so does the family. So I'm just going to be looking around to see if I can find nice moon mutina leaves to enjoy. I guess if to enjoy it, it needs to be prepared properly. If you, if you don't prepare it properly, then you won't enjoy it. So I'm trying to find the tender, the tender leaves that won't be too hard to boil. And uh, the smaller they are, the more nutrition they have. Like microgreens. So I'm done for today. This is what I've got. Um, it's for two, so it's more than enough. Yes, it will wilt when you cook, but it's it's perfect. Uh, if I need some more, I can always come out here. Very nutritious vegetable and can't wait to have some. The technicians have now left for the day, having been unable to continue working due to the heat on the roof. The hope was to start running the system today on a trial basis, but this will not have to wait. The fittings around the house are 90% done. The kitchen and a few rooms still need to have the fitting done. This room is our temporary storeroom until the next sub-project focused on the flooring. This is the distribution box. It will have the breakers for the house's entire circuitry. The wiring here too is yet to be completed. This is the pantry, the room that still needs to have some ceiling work completed. We ran out of cornices here. This is the scullery. The light is also yet to be installed on the ceiling, but all the sockets are now in place.
had to devise a way on how to safely transport some things using the banana trucks, which is um, the transportation that we have available to get right here to the to the homestead. So these barrels were the first suitable candidates. So I packed glassware and stemware in here and I'm particularly interested to see how things are. We had to stuff some clothing, old clothing on top so that there's no empty space which might lead to breakages. like they survived. I was really worried about the stemway. Um, when packing I had seen that they said stemway, the most delicate part is the stem. Um, that's where it can snap and break easily. So, and also of all glassware, this should then go on top because of its um, fragility. So yay, I'm sure Everything else in there is, is good. So for the rest of the drums, um, it's plastic wear and more ceramic wear. And the way I <coughs> label them, all kitchen stuff, I had labeled as K for kitchen and one representing the number of drums that I have for kitchen stuff. So I had K1, K2, this is K3, and K4, it's all sealed up. Um, so the stars, I had put them because I wanted to explain to the transporters that this is very delicate stuff. They needed to handle it with care. Um, K2 had ceramic way, it still needed to be handled with care, but this was a um, high priority. So all this was access to my kitchen requirements. I was actually surprised that I had all this stuff in excess. Um, then the fifth barrel, there were five barrels. The fifth one had electric, um, electrical fittings and the wires and everything for the electrician to come and, and install, finish his installation for the solar and to get the sockets, plugs, switches to get the solar running and have us um, online <laughs> for power. Yeah, so this has proved to be an efficient and effective way to, to transport things for us using um, banana trucks. No breakages so far and I'm thrilled. Good morning from the Eastern Highlands. Yeah, great day today. It's just after 6 uh, a.m. We are just popping out to go to the local shops to pick up a few uh, extra items for our extended stay. We've had to extend the stay by about um, uh, three days, um, let me say three nights, so that we just see the electrical work, the solar installation system to completion. We're expecting the, the electrician to arrive this morning even been unable to come for at least two days because of uh, vehicle breakdowns. But we have been in comms with them. We hope they'll come today. What's left is for them to go up the roof and uh, set up the, the solar panels themselves and then um, finish up a little 
um, a bit of wiring inside and then uh, hopefully switch us on um, a great a great day if that happens because it will enable us to work and um, you know just catch up on a few things the homestead overall is going is doing well um, we are back since November 2023 when we are last year there have been a lot of rain in between and uh, things are looking up the landscaper who are whom we're working with has been here and um, we hope to have him on the ground to begin the um, the ground preparation work um, at least um, on certain sections of the of the yard and then he'll get on with the business of uh, planting the lawn you know and beautifying the place as we as we have hope, always hoped to to do so we are getting there step by step so yeah let's see how today goes um, quite exciting fingers crossed that everything is completed today as far as solar system is concerned Finally, after a few days of no show due to car problems, the technicians are here this morning. Without delay, the panels start going up.
and we are in business. The solar system is up and running. Under normal circumstances, we expect the battery to be fully charged by mid-morning on a sunny day. As the system is running, the technicians will finalize installation of all the remaining electrical fittings, including the kitchen chandeliers. As the solar system continues in the testing phase, today we turn our focus to the lawn that we put in the ground late last year. We have some work to weed out some increasingly growing weeds. This is one of our favorite spots to work even on a hot afternoon because of the shade. It is also the reason why we thought it a good section to plant some lawn. In the future, we may have a bench here just to sit and enjoy the last half of the day in a cool shade. The woods close to this space also attract a variety of bird species, which is very nice. Yeah, so we've just been doing um, some picking of the weeds. I think it's just a 15 minute job uh -huh. uh, on this lawn that we that we planted uh, in November 20, 2023. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, it was a very fairly simple exercise. So the lawn is progressing fairly okay. Mm -hmm. Um, considering the hardships it faced when we planted it because it, it was quite hot, a heat wave came yeah. that time, so it suffered. Also, we made the mistake when we planted it. Um, the soil wasn't wet. Yeah. We, we learned this most recently that when you're planting lawn uh, for, or runners or whatever it is mm -hmm. first make the soil damp or, or wet and then you plant so so that your because your the roots would already be wet from mm -hmm. your plugs or runners so they just get into that same moisture and then they can easily mm, adapt to the to the yeah. new environment and then just continue with life yeah mm -hmm. but uh, we we didn't know that so we didn't do it Mm. But it it fought. Some of the plugs died. Yeah. Um, but uh, the others survived, and we are just watching it, and and uh, we'll fit in more plugs where there there are too big of um, gaps. Mm. Yeah, but overall, it remains to be seen. Uh, you know what things will look like maybe in the next uh, couple of weeks. Uh, there's some really good lawn uh, all around that we can see. Mm -hmm. So we hope that um, you know it will, it will start closing up with more watering. We understand uh, some manure is also needed. Yeah. Uh, we need to add manure just to, to, to speed things up. Yeah, but we are determined to see it succeed. And uh, yeah, hopefully <laughs> the, the, the results of our labor will be more apparent yeah. uh, in, the, in, the, in the weeks and, um, and months ahead. Yeah. Here goes the septic tank. 
this is how it looks it's now completed and functional what's still missing is the manhole cover but the provision was was left here we need to just cut open the those iron bars and remove the the wooden planks and then we'll put the manhole cover but we are it's not urgent uh, it needs to be done but it doesn't stop the septic tank from doesn't prevent it from working and uh, next to it is where the the soccer way is right below here the soil that's where it was and uh, it's been covered all the stones that were on the side of the house have been were, were filled into the soccer way and it was, it was covered so now all these pipes that are running above ground the plan is to uh, to just cover them put them underground basically they're really driving us crazy just to see them all over the place like this so yeah the, there's a plan to to put them underground it's quite a bit of them going in all directions So basically what these pipes are doing uh, is to get water from the the water from the mountain is arriving to the at the top on the at the top here to gain a gradient and then it comes down to the fields using these different pipes so these pipes go to the different ends of the field for for irrigation right now we have got two irrigation systems running um, in the small maize field but they should be properly laid out especially when we do the 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 ground work the ground clearing for the landscaping this should permanently be uh, put underground so that you know they don't have to run all over the place as they are right now Solar installation is now finally complete. This is a 3 kVA Synapse Inverter. And in here we have the breakers, some surge protectors and the breaker for the inverter. Here we've got fuses for the battery and the battery here it's a 24 volt 100 ah battery so it's currently at 100 percent it's fully charged When it's charging, this middle light will be flashing. So right now it's not flashing because the battery is full. What's flashing is the AC because we're using power. And this is the basic lighting that we have chosen to start with. In here is the pantry. And only one of these has got a bulb currently. But the lights are on and they're working. So these are just basic fittings.
out here are the daylights. We have them all around the house. The electrical system is done. Uh, we are very happy. It's been a hectic last few days. Yeah. Yeah, putting all that together. Um, it's, it's, we had a place that we've been looking forward to for a long time. Uh -huh. uh, since last year, of course, we had to break because of the, um, of the holidays, the rains, but we had already started putting together uh, the materials for this stage. Uh -huh. So, yeah, we've put up all the, um, the lighting system, uh -huh. um, the fittings have been done, and um, we've also done the solar system now. With, uh, it runs on four solar panels at the moment, mm -hmm. and uh, it's going to be able to power all our lighting, um, all our computers uh, that we have when we are here. It will also power our, our booster pump, which will be coming up soon. Um, yeah, one of the reasons we are putting up the booster pump is because we we have avoided to to have an elevated uh, gravity tank. Uh, because we feel it just doesn't, uh, you know, it, it, it spoils the, the aesthetics, you know, that's our concern, as well as the, the safety issue around it. Uh, there have been stories of those collapsing, you know, no matter how, how strong you make them and things like that. So we just want to keep our pump on the ground. We have a lot of sun here, so we'll use a, a booster pump to, to put pressure into the house. So, yeah, the, it's fantastic. The, the, electric, the, the electrical system is, is, is done. Yeah, um, and so what we wanted to do really was to have a functional system. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we decided to go with the basic package on the solar system um, to power our lights, um, as, as Arthur was saying, our lights and our sockets where we can put um, the freezer as well and just have the basics. Okay, mm -hmm. so... Um, our, for our lights, we went with the lamp holders and light bulb. At night, you can see with that. Mm -hmm. With the chandelier, yes, you can see it's, it looks uh, nicer. But really what we wanted was just to have functionality. Mm -hmm. Have lights on at night, you can see properly. Have sockets that are working. You can work on your laptop or whatever if you need to. Um, so at this stage, that's basically what we're after. We are obviously going to be increasing um, the system as we go with our different needs as they come. Um, but for now, we're happy with this and it's it's working. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, let's see how it goes on the next one. But, uh, yeah, this chapter is, 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 is done. Anything else, we're building on it. Yeah. Thank you.